Hello, welcome. My name is Lau Testoni, and today we're going to talk about the most common mistakes that I heard from non-Brazilians playing Samba and Bossa Nova. This is going to be good. By far, the most common mistake is people playing with the rhythm hand usually right hand, thumb, and three fingers at the same time, like cha-cha-cha. And this is not how Gilberto Gil, uh, Tom Jobim, and all the great masters did. They played always with three fingers and thumb in different places. So check this out. I will show you the wrong way and then the right way. By the way, if you want to get the PDF of this lesson, type your email here in the comments and I will be happy to send you this PDF with some scores and all these tips and suggestions on how to practice it, okay? So let's go to the video. The second mistake is when people play the bass line not paying much attention to the bass. And bass is such an important tool to make the sound of samba and bossa nova sounds correctly. Two important things and one extra tip about bass lines and thumb. You should be aware that usually we want the sound of the bass line as short and long, short and long. We also uh, don't want to like pa, pa, pa with the same volume, the same dynamic. We're going to need some difference between uh, hits, between pitch. So, for example, pa, pa, ah, 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 soft and louder. And the extra tip, pay attention to ghost notes. Ghost notes are very important for right groove, for the right feel of bossa nova and samba. The third tip is, in my opinion, one of the most important things. If you can't understand the role and the sound of percussion Brazilian instruments, you can't play Brazilian music. And in general, the guitar players, uh, my colleagues, my students, they are trying to learn Brazilian music, Brazilian genres. Just listen to guitar players playing uh, bossa nova, samba, or any other Brazilian rhythm. And if we not understand percussion instruments, the sound of these percussion instruments, the ghost notes of these percussion instruments, the accent, the strong beats on these uh, patterns coming from uh, tambourine, pandeiro, or even surdo, we can't play uh, Brazilian music in the right way. It's a nice idea to have some of these instruments and play to really feel and understand how it works. Because in general, what we are trying to apply on the guitar is the sound, the groove of these instruments uh, on bossa nova, on samba, on our instrument guitar. So this is extremely important. So check this out.
One, two, three, four. Brazil is a huge country, and sometimes we have the same rhythm, the same instrument playing differently between cities, states, or even inside the same town. So this is why it's so essential to listen to Brazilian music, different instruments, different albums, different singers. So again, if you want to get for free the PDF of this lesson, with the link for a Brazilian playlist with very cool albums and essential musicians to understand Brazilian music, type your email here down in the comments and I'll be glad to send you this PDF, all right? I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, and keep playing. Let's play.